Hello Virgo, it's time for your mid-February two more trading of this current year. It's going to be a Thunderdome. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you guys are still looking for a personal reading, um, hit me up with my email. It's in the description box below. Below, my bad. As well as my PayPal for donations and stuff because I don't charge for my readings, but I do like tips. Tips are nice. Thank you very much. So let's start with group one. You're up. We got the Chariot. Five of Swords. Ooh, that's oh so ugly. Ah, uh, the Starman or the Magician reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles reversed. Prince of Cups reversed. And the beginning theme for Group 1 is the Ten of Wands reversed. Completion somewhere. It's a burden you've been carrying around and it's annoying. It's very annoying to you. Hmm. Give me like two seconds. Hmm. Okay. The new wands. It's like a burden you're carrying around. And it's hard to get rid of. And you're riding in like the chariot. That could be cancer. Could be going to cancer, but that could also be cancerian energy. It's just someone charging ahead no matter what. They're going to keep moving forward. Regardless. Like, this guy's armor on. He's battle ready. He's going in for a victory. He's going to gain balance. One way or another, anyway. With him, we have... King of Swords Reversed. Possibly has a bad attitude. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Possibly a bad attitude. Possibly comes off as a dick. Possibly isn't coming out with the truth. Possibly isn't speaking out about the truth. Nine of Pentacles here. Someone is really focused on themselves, being okay on their own, but they still have a lot of uh, insecurities they're dealing with. The Four of Pentacles reversed. And with this five of swords reversed right there was a betrayal a backstab you know someone's definitely putting all their swords on this person like ready to harm them ready to keep stabbing and fill the ocean with more blood um door closed someone was but be hurt someone was hurt someone was betrayed someone was manipulated and i feel like it just fucked the home up might even be closed door policy at this point like the universe shut the door just like, uh-uh. No, you're not getting back in. But someone might be wanting that, though. Down below, though, is the Eight of Cups over the Five of Pentacles. Someone was wanting to come back in, but now they're just wandering off. They've given up. They don't want to keep trying. They're just walking away from all these cups, all these emotions. With this magician reversed up here in the fears and rejections, right? We have someone acting a little bit paranoid. Not only can they not manifest anything, they don't know how to control it. Excuse me. It could be this air sign over here, too, since they're both face cards. It could be the same person. But it's like they were stupid. They were being paranoid. They were asking questions they shouldn't be asking. And, they, and it didn't build up to anything. It just backfired on them you know and then we have this prince of cups knight of cups who isn't offering anything is being kind of childish about it um there's an ending coming with this this is complete this is done this is like 
someone who is shallow, who didn't really like, I feel like group one, you're moving away from a person who is like really not for you. You know, if you haven't already moved away from them yet. Theme. Well, Virgo, that's your card, but it seems like you're a little bit, uh, funky right now. You know, you're upside down, you're introverted, but you're doing the whole isolation thing where you're having a breakdown every Wednesday at 3.45 p.m. Right before your favorite soap opera comes on. Yeah, someone is still out in the cold and they wanted to come back in all of all this. And there is no real victory to be found. In fact, like, there's a lack of balance because of it. And someone's closed off emotionally. Someone... Someone's just letting their emotions get to them, clam them up. Like, someone went on an emotional tirade, and now they're just not expressing themselves. And because they did that, like, they feel left out in the cold, and they want to come back in. Like, they're still wanting to come back in. Yeah, and there's not a lot of... There's more restriction than there is, like, Control, if that makes sense. Not on a very severe level, but just enough to be like, mm, I don't know about you. I really don't know. You seem kind of eh to me, right? But that's yours, group one, and now we're going to move on to group two. Let the music soothe you. All right, group two. for you, group two. Oh, Jesus. Let me just go back in because I don't know how you were supposed to come out. Jesus. Checkers and Christ. Just so you know, um, Queen of Pentacles Reverse showed up. Just in case. Okay, group two, no whammies, here we go. God, I'm going to take a nap, man. We have the High Priestess Chariot reversed for you. Queen of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. The Sun. Five of Cups reversed. And the beginning theme for you is Four of Swords reversed. Someone isn't able to think, concentrate, um, meditate on things. Someone is very scatterbrained, I feel like. Having a lot of stuff in their brains and not knowing how to work on it. The High Priestess right here. Someone might be keeping some secrets about being a little unbalanced. Possibly even dealing with Libra energy. Right? Someone's keeping things under wraps or maybe someone's seen things of how they are when it comes to some 
balance that isn't being obtained, right? And down here is the Three of Cups where someone wants to like come together with other community groups, friends, relatives, whatever. Have some happiness in them, right? We got the chariot over here, where someone is just all up in their feelings, not really like trying to come out of their shell. Could be Virgo, Virgo. Could be you, feeling that way, isolating yourself, keeping to yourself, not letting anybody know how you feel. Oh my goodness! I did not notice you. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Sun. Someone's happiness is just stalled out. I feel like everyone's just like not wanting to deal with bullshit right now. Queen of Swords, right? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type. Someone who is being really cutthroat, not thinking clearly, hypercritical, cutting people down. There's a lot of work involved with dealing with this person. <laughs> Like, this person is just like in the fears and rejections and it's like, there's a lot of work that's got to go into this person. Maybe we have the Five of Cups to rush or someone can't get over any regrets about, lo well, you know, and behold, King of Swords. There's a pairing right there. Feels like he can't get over some regrets he has. Feels like there's some stuff that like, he's got a bad attitude about. And someone's and and then the Queen of Swords is up here trying to work on shit, and it's really hard to work with. And then the ending theme, Chariot Reverse once again, shine up twice. Someone is really in their emotions and they're having a hard time concentrating on it. I feel like someone's playing a little bit of mind game somewhere. Just with the king and queen both being reversed. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting on fighting in this. Like, people are not coming together with their goals. Some people are just not seeing eye to eye with things. And there needs to be communication, possibly with an Aquarius involved. Maybe you need an Aquarius involved. I don't know, like, well, I don't know. Because, like, the king and queen are both here. So... But yeah, there, there's like a need for communication. There's a need to come together. There's a need to um, stabilize, almost. Because, yeah, or else there's still going to be a lot of regrets that someone still can't get over. Five of Swords reversed twice. There, there, like, there, like, there needs to be communication for this fighting because, like, some things just aren't easy to forgive, I guess. I know. But you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.